Virgo, 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 Virgo. Are we being naughty? Are we being naughty, Virgo? Uh, I'm here to do the second half of March by Weeklies. The song I got on shuffle for my Virgos was Bad Idea by Ariana Grande. Um, if you haven't heard that song, it's basically like, I got a bad idea. I'm going to call you over here on the pain. And then she's saying, forget about him, forget about, or forget about him, forget about me, forget about whatever. Um, but it's a good little catchy song, but it's like, is there somebody here who, you know, uh, she's like, she sings, I gotta find somebody quickly. Um, so it's like, if there's somebody, ooh, 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 you shouldn't be texting. Um, I got a bad idea. Uh, yeah, so like her bad idea is basically calling this person, telling them to come over, like telling them, you know, nothing else really matters. It's what's a little bit of fun going to hurt. Um, so there could be somebody here that you're tempted to, tempted to reach out to in the second half of March. Uh, you might be talking to multiple people. I don't know, but there's one looming there that, are they a bad idea? Let's get a couple clarifiers. Um, I got a bad idea. Be patient, be of service. Yeah, I'm gonna call you over here and know the pain. I got a bad idea. Bust out of your cocoon. Okay, so I do feel like you've got some good stuff coming for you, Virgo. You've got some good stuff coming for you, but with that good, it's like it brings in some some shit, some some of the junk too. Um, so just be cautious that you are um, not being too overindulgent. Okay, um, take that how it resonates. Because I do feel like you are opening yourself up and you're kind of, like this says, busting out of your cocoon. You could be feeling yourself. And when you're feeling yourself, you get a lot of options. Maybe there's somebody in particular that you have been like starting to settle down with. And then it's like a week goes by, you don't talk to this person. Or like a couple days go by, you start to feel nervous. And then you call this uh, past person up um, just to kind of help keep you off focus. I don't know. These are things that are coming to my mind. Bottom of the deck, we got the nine of cups. Stop it. I just said, be, ca be cautious of being too overindulgent. You're going to have more than you know what to do with, I feel like, in the second half of March. Um, so that could be in regards to love offers. Uh, <laughs> We, this is a great time for love for uh, Virgos, actually. So if you are noticing like some things ramping up in your love life, that is why. Um, I think it's like the planet placements right now are in like an ideal romantic conjunction for Virgo. So um, yeah, if somebody knows more about like the, like the semantics of all the planet stuff, you know, I don't know too much about planet placements, but I know right now we are in a very, very beneficial one for, for Virgo's love life. So you could be experiencing like a lot of, a lot of people are attracted to you. A lot of people are interested in you and you're just kind of like, what? I'm not doing anything differently. It's the planets, baby. All right. So keep that in mind. Um, Overall energy between you and another person for the second half of March. Five of Pentacles. Out in the cold. Out in the cold. Let's see. Let's see. Why do we have that Five of Pentacles? Somebody could feel out in the cold, put out in the cold by you. Why is that Five of Pentacles there? Why is that Five of Pentacles here for Virgo? Oh. Three of Wands. It's like something, if you felt out in the cold, something's coming. Like something's coming in here. So this could be, you know, if you've been feeling out in the cold, if you've been feeling like I have no options, I've got nothing coming in, uh, get ready because the ship's coming and a lot of people are on that ship. 
I'm just going to say that right now. That ship's coming in, and there's a lot of people that are about to get off the ship. You're, like, expecting one person, and it's like, oh, oh. Now the island is populated. You're trying to get off this deserted island, but the ship just brought, like, a whole community to live here. I don't know what to tell you, Virgo. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, <laughs> Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. You're waiting on one specific person, though, huh? Um, nine of wands and the fool card. Okay, here's this fool here. This fool. This fool. That's who you're about to run into. It's somebody who's liter literally has that energy. This person could be young um, or have a younger energy, uh, but also this person might not even be young or anything. They're just like, live this like they're very free spirited there's somebody who's about to happen upon your path that's very free spirited so like i said virgos with lots of connections it's like for a week you might enjoy it and you might get that energy of like oh my god so many people like me but at the end of the day you're looking for someone you can build with somebody you can grow with somebody you can be in a relationship with i get it so you're looking for that best option um, we've got the fool here. This is somebody who could be taking a leap of faith towards you. But I also feel like you are going to... Um, and you could be taking on this free-spirited energy. But I feel as though you have some, you're going to cross paths with somebody who is very free-spirited. So this Ten of Cups here. What's this Ten of Cups doing here? Oh. Damn, that's a lot of cards. But you know what? We're going to look at them. Knight of Wands. That's some fire sign energy. Page of Cups. Eight of um, Swords. And the Queen of Cups. Okay, so there's somebody coming in here. There's somebody kind of taking action here that is going to communicate some kind of... Give you some kind of emotional communication here. And this could be, this could have you feeling like not sure of what to do with your cup, right? Somebody's coming in here. Uh, you could be in a relationship. You could already be in a connection, Virgo. That could be that Ten of Cups. This is somebody who fulfills you like emotionally. I don't know if you've met this person yet. Have you met this free spirit yet? Because if not, you are going to be meeting this person. It's almost like when you meet this person, this damn knight of wands, that damn in and out energy is going to come in and offer you some kind of emotional confession as to why they've been stuck, as to why they've been um, not making any movements. And then that's going to kind of make you feel like, oh, oh. All right, the Fool card here. Tell me about this Fool. Oh, again, with a lot of cards. All right, this... Oh, baby. Oh, Virgo. Oh, Virgo. You're about to have to make a decision. You are going to have to make a decision between two people. We got the Three of Swords here. Um, we got the Empress here and we've got the Four of Pentacles. So, this could be Taurus or Libra energy with that Empress there, but I just feel as though you have, you're, oh man, oh, you could be trying Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I'm just seeing a big picture here, okay? Um, you could be in a connection, Virgo, and there's somebody coming in from maybe somebody you've dealt with in the past, somebody that you feel this very like physical attraction to, somebody they could be sharing some emotional confession with you, they could be telling you about a crush that they have on you, and you're kind of like, what's it hurt? I do see that if you, if you juggle this, you could be juggling these two connections, you could be uh, spearhead in a little third party situation here. 
Um, I do feel like be careful. Be careful because there's one person here who truly, truly, truly does see you as their empress. Um, it's like you don't want to make a decision, but you will eventually have to make a decision. You will have to make a decision here. Nine of Pentacles. Page of Swords and the Two of Wands. Okay, so this is, I, I love when there's multiple energies because it drives me wild. Um, so there's somebody here, obviously, your focus is on this person, their focus is on you, little mutual spying going on you are in a very single state and that is what you are telling yourself somebody's making a plan of action towards you so this person could be making this plan of action they were juggling for a while but they made a decision they are coming towards virgo they're coming towards virgo you are the empress they want to come give you this you know emotional confession so for some of you maybe it's one person maybe but i am picking up on another energy here of somebody who you meet unexpectedly and somebody who could be a free spirit they you could meet them while you're they're traveling um but i do get an energy of you are very single and you have a lot of options you have a lot of people who are making you offers right now you have a lot of people who are making you offers um hmm this is significant to me it's like this little birdie there's somebody here who's like consulting you right what is that about somebody here who's like you're talking to about all your little options and they're giving you consult and there's one in particular you're wanting to grab this two of wands here somebody's making a plan of action all right let me see what this nine of pentacles is doing here nine of pentacles what's up with you girl what's up with you two a lot of cards want to come out here yeah you're kind of just biding your time you're biding your time you're seeing who is giving the best offer because you have so many offers um because you're in this hangman state you're in this queen of swords hangman it's like you're not going to make a decision very quickly you are being patient because it's in a sense of um why jump to a decision you kind of want to get clarity on all your off offers all your options um also I just heard that a lot of this is like, you're being kind of rewarded because of something you've done. So if you've been of service to other people, the universe is in a sense rewarding you. Um, let's see what this two of wands is here. Let's see what this two of wands is. Five of wands. Oh yeah, there's people fighting over you. There's people fighting over you lots of people trying to communicate with you lots of people so like i said there could be this one person in particular who's going to make this gesture but you're kind of keeping your options open even if this person comes forward you're keeping your options open even if they are your ten of cups you're keeping that option open because this person is known to you to kind of be inconsistent i feel like you know this person's a little bit inconsistent even though this is the person that you want you are keeping them options open and you might just happen to meet somebody else um because there's going to be a lot of people and you're going to be you're going to be tempted you're going to be like you know what i kind of want to get to know this person too and you could be juggling this for a, a while um and i see I see here there's some there's some these people are fighting for you Virgo fighting they're fighting 
and you're kind of doing your own thing. I like it. Justice card, Libra energy. This is that making a decision. You eventually make a decision and then you're in the 10 of pentacles. Like I said, I told you, I saw you holding on. There's one pentacle that you're holding on to. There's one pentacle you're holding on to and you're waiting to see what this person is going to do. Because look at this. For some reason, this is what is sticking out to me it's like you could be consulting with somebody see that bird but see how she's only touching one pentacle i mean i normally for some reason that's just sticking out to me when i read this right now she's touching that one pentacle and almost like listening listening what do i what so there's one one offer in particular that you are you're kind of assessing that I think you walk away from all this other stuff for this person. Okay. Justice card. What's this decision? Who does Virgo decide on? What is the outcome of this situation? I want to know who it is you choose. The emperor. Damn. Damn. You pick the emperor to your empress. You pick your person. You know. You know which one's your person. You're just having a little bit of fun, and then you pick this person. This person will be, it'll be very clear to you who to pick also. Eight of Cups, Tower, and the Six of Cups. Eight of Cups is clarified by the Tower and the Six of Cups. So something might kind of collapse in order for you to move towards this or this could be your person kind of making this plan to come in and fight for you making this plan to come in and fight for you you could be you know enjoying yourself enjoying all your offers but when this person comes in i do feel like it's like you need to make a decision and you do make this decision because you know that this is who you want this is who you want this is a past life soulmate this is potentially a past person um Coming in and offering you, walking away from this tower moment. Um, but I do feel like when whoever this is, whoever's coming into your life here, this is going to be a big change. You could move for this person. Like you could be moving. You could be moving in with this person. Um, this doesn't have to be a past person. It could be a past life soulmate. Um but it's like the, the energy that they bring with them is that you're just going to know. You're going to know this is that person. Like I said, you're consulting somebody on this decision as well. Um, but yeah, you've got some, you've got some, lots of energy here, Virgo. Lots of, lots of people in this scenario. So in the extended, I'm going to look at who is coming towards Virgo what it is that, what offer, what this person's wanting to communicate. I kind of want to see who that emperor is. I think that's the most important. Let's take a look at who that emperor is. Um, let's take a look at what's happening for you unexpectedly this month, as well as um, advice from spirit and what is blocking all this from coming in. So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box and I will see you guys there. Bye. Um, there is a lesson here in regards.